Welcome back about it to another video. In this video, we are gonna talk about how to optimize your Dolby Atmos experience correctly in 2024. This might be one of the most important video I made on optimization of Dolby Atmos. And of course, you are entitled to your preference on how you want to lay out your speakers. But I want to share with you guys what I have learned recently that optimize my Dolby Atmos experience. And I'm pretty sure your already awesome surround system is working properly. But if you're one of those, which is which I was, whereas it feels like all the 4K Dolby Atmos discs that we purchase seems like the sound engineers are not fully optimizing the disc that being said we can still enhance our Dolby Atmos experience and we're gonna go through some checks I'm gonna give you guys five important checks the fifth one is very very important um, and the reason why I'm making this video is because recently I realized that between my processors and my receivers, the same setting is not the same settings for each one, each brand. And I didn't realize that until of late. So we're gonna go over some avenues. We're gonna cover all the aspects in this video and it should leave no doubt that you did all you can do to fully optimize your system for Adobe Atmos experience. So let's go over some checks lists to fully optimize your Atmos surround sound experience. So first check on our list, of course, you're gonna have to have a Adobe Atmos capable receiver or processor. On a side note, we're not going to really mention anything about audio sources from streaming apps because we want to make sure that our setup is working correctly first. Second check is a 4K flat screen with a 2.0 HDMI port. And your HDMI cables should be at least 2.0. Third check, a decent 4K Blu-ray player and for your 4K Blu-ray disc or Blu-ray disc, make sure that they support Dolby Atmos decodes. Because some 4K discs is only in Dolby 2 HD and some, of, some other ones are in DTSX, which I like. Just, just saying. Force check, you need to have at least a 5.1.2 surround configuration that is your five ear level speakers one or two subs and for your two height speakers if you're running only two heights so those are set to for instance if you're having front top fronts which is uh, Adobe Atmos enabled speaker, which you're using as down firing. Or if you have in ceiling speakers, which is set to overhead. And those are the two I recommend. If preferably, I prefer having your front heights instead of in ceiling for the Atmos channels. That is my preference. And the fifth and most important check is um, for true Dolby Atmos tests is you're going to have to um, download the Dolby Atmos or the Dolby Access app. And if you don't know, you have to have at least an Xbox One console or a capable PC. And 
I'm telling you right now, this check is an, is an accurate check that you gonna wanna test. Because I, I overlooked this before because I ran all my decodes in DTSX and I thought that I didn't, because I thought that it didn't work in this test because I, I wasn't running Dolby Atmos, I was running DTSX. And also I knew that when I did my, my sound level decibel check in my system, that all the speakers responded correctly, my heights, my rears, you name it, it corresponded to the check. So I thought that uh, there was, I thought it didn't matter or pertain, but for Dolby Atmos, change everything to support Dolby Atmos and do this check. Cause this is the check that will let you know if you're running object based correctly for Dolby Atmos. Now, it's gonna work. You don't have to have a 7.1.4. You just have to have at least a 5.1.2 configuration. And if you find out that in this test, Left, top, rear. Left, your Atmos channels is silent. Left, top, rear. That means that you're not you run out running Atmos correctly. But the good news is that I found that to fix that, you just have to go into your settings and change your um, Atmos Left, top, settings. Rear. So, for instance, Left, top, if you're if you are running Dolby enable um, speakers and you're you're using it as front heights, right? You're going to want those front heights on top front. And if you are running overhead, your in ceiling speakers and it's an overhead and it's not working properly, you might have to change it to top front. Now, this is not going to affect a lot of people. Most people, if you're running your front heights, for instance, if you're running down firing speakers and you set that to top front, it should pass this test. But for some reason, one of my processor, I'm running top fronts uh, and, and rear, top rears, because I'm running um, Dolby enable speakers. For some reason, those fail the Atmos test. So I changed that to uh, overhead middle, for instance. And this whole time I did not know that was the case. I was wondering why some of my theater systems, I heard more object base versus the other ones. So reiterate here, if you do that Dolby Atmos Test the 7.1.4 channel check in the Dolby Access app for the demo, and you found out that it your speaker is not responding to the Atmos. Don't be don't be alarmed. Just go change your settings in your um, height speakers. Change it to something different um, until it works properly. You have to play around with it. So I kept changing the configuration. I keep, you know, and then resetting the configuration and then that didn't work. And then I keep on resetting it and then it's like, it was crazy. So save you guys some trouble. So that's pretty much the five checklists that you guys um, want to do. And the fifth one is the most important one is that test. And it's not just any test. is this channel check. And like I said, the channel check with your own AVR or processor, it's not gonna be suffice, even though that is good, but we want the Dolby Atmos object base um, to work as much as possible, and this is what I found out. 
So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Like, subscribe. Let me know below if you had to change your settings. If you found out or if you didn't know that you had this problem or your ammos always work correctly or you have any recommendations, whatever it is, etc., comment below. Keep it friendly. But that's my time. And... Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hooded Dragons out.